your neighbors maybe tell them your favorite candy since it's candy day and then sit down we'll do announcements Good morning. I want to welcome you to church this morning. And just in case you need to know, my favorite Halloween candy is an O. Henry bar. Like, you know those little ones you get in the big... Mo but like 14 of them, not one. Yeah, it has to equal at least one full-size chocolate bar, right? 
So, awesome. I want to welcome you all here this morning. And uh, if you're visiting with us this morning, well, I can't talk. If you're visiting with us this morning, we're glad that you're here. We want to welcome you especially. And I want to point out that we have some guests from a really cool uh, discipleship school, Curios. Am I saying that? I know about Curios, but I always struggle to say it right. Am I saying it right, you guys? Curios. And it's actually our, our church denomination's discipleship school. And it's a really neat experience. You should look it up online. Uh, but you should also, after the service, there's a display out in the foyer. You should go talk to them. Can I get you guys just to stand for a minute? So this is our Curios gang here, the school, for this year. And so afterwards, you can feel free to grab a seat again. Afterwards, make sure that you, especially if you're a youth, but everybody, you should uh, go out and just bombard them in the foyer. We'll convince them to stick around for a while and tell you about the program. It's a really neat program where they're in Canada for some of it. They're overseas for some of it. I'm not sure how that's working out this year, but lots of neat experiences that they have and uh, lots of discipleship stuff which is really cool all right a few family announcements that I want to make you aware of uh, one is I mentioned last week that we are going to be holding um, we're going to be having a baptism coming up we haven't set the date yet but we have some interest we're talking with someone about who wants to be baptized and so we want to make it available to more people as well if you're considering interested in being baptized if you want to have a conversation to talk about what that means or why it's important, come and speak to Pastor Rob or myself, and we would love to have that conversation with you. And when someone's interested in baptism, uh, our normal practice is that we'll meet with that person and kind of have a bit of a, sometimes we meet and we'll have a class if there's a bunch of people, sometimes we'll meet one-on-one -on -one and just walk through what the importance of baptism is and what it means. Um, and then in a few weeks we'll have a baptism here and that'll be really exciting. So if you're interested, make sure that you come and talk to Pastor Rob or myself. Also youth, I want to let you know Friday night we have a youth event here at the church 7 till 9.30. Be sure to check the schedule and if you don't have a schedule make sure you grab one. But check the schedule in the foyer for all the details on that. Uh, is Greg Lockhart here this morning? I don't think he is. He had a youth unlimited announcement, but I guess that'll happen next week. All right, and then the other thing is this is this is way in advance for us as a church. November the 23rd, which is a Tuesday night, there's going to be our Hi. church. He's here. <laughs> there's Mr. Lockhart. I just called your name. You're out in the foyer visiting. Unbelievable. Yeah, I Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, well, that's okay. And you know what, Greg? I, I know you want to make an announcement about Youth Unlimited, and I was supposed to have a poster up here for you, and it's on my computer at home. I'm sorry. But here, tell us all about it. That's okay. Hi, everybody. If you don't know me, my name is Greg Lockhart, and I'm always on time. And um, except when I have a teenage girl who sleeps in late. Uh, okay, uh, um, so I'm with Youth for Christ, Youth Unlimited here in, in Lacombe in central Alberta, and every year about this time we try and pull off a fundraising banquet, tell you how much fun has been in trying to pull off a fundraising banquet in this day and age. Um, so we are actually going to accomplish this, this Friday at the LMC, and it is inclusive. It doesn't matter if you were born in Canada or not, or all that other stuff. It is as inclusive as we could get it. Um, so we're not checking anything at the door other than you pay money for us to help support us uh, and buy a ticket. And what we're doing is we're doing it in groups of 10 to 15, kind of small groups. You, you sign up together, and you're going to come into the LMC here in Lacombe, um, and then you're going to go from booth to booth to booth. So we have seven different stations set up. You're going to sit down. You're going to enjoy a bag or a packed uh, snack that we have for you. You're going to interact with us a little bit. Some booths, if you're working with, uh, we work with young moms and families. So you might do a craft with some kids there just to get the feel of what a young mom event. At, um, you, might, uh, you might build an activity with us uh, on our Mexico booth or things like that. So it's going to be really uh, interesting interactive at the same time as you get to sit and kind of relax a little bit and listen listen to our vision and uh, and it's as inclusive as we can be so right now if you go on our web page which is not on there but uh, if you go on our web page it's CAYU Central Alberta Youth Unlimited dot CA uh, and you can sign up for tickets we also have a silent auction running right now on our web page and there are some amazing um, amazing items up on our silent auction I love love food 
And there are some amazing cakes from amazing bakers that are going uh, for reasonable prices. So if you want to like bring a cake home this week, get on our silent auction and check us out at cayu.ca and uh, grab your family, grab another family. Um, and uh, if you're the matzahs, come as one family um, and uh, have a great uh, activity next Friday night. Oh, and Friday, it's not just the night actually, sorry. It's, um, this would have been all on the poster, but anyway, it's, um, um, we're starting at 11 o'clock and we're going till uh, 8 o'clock and you just pick our slots and you come through for an hour so uh, at most in that whole big LMC there'll be 70 people and you just kind of come through an hour slot and enjoy enjoy a little time and see what we got to offer thank you sorry to, that was so long I would have just put it pushed to the poster Wow, you really made a lot of comments about the poster not being up there yeah okay make sure you go to the website and get all the details for that all right, and then the last thing I want to make you aware of, and it's down the road, but on November the 23rd, we're having our uh, annual meeting here at the church. And so uh, if this is your, your home church, this is your church family, then this is an evening for you to come out and be a part of the business aspects of, of the church and just uh, also to just be together and talk about the ministries of our church. All right, I want to share with you from Colossians 1. And it's a letter that Paul wrote to the Colossians. It's also very fitting and suitable for us this morning, and, uh, and that's why it's in the scriptures here. And so I want to read it to you, and I'm going to start at verse 9 and go through verse 14. This is what it says. And so from this day, oh sorry, and so from the day we heard, we have not ceased to pray for you, asking that you would be filled with the knowledge of his will, God's will, in all spiritual wisdom and understanding, so as to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to him bearing fruit in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God, being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might, for all endurance and patience with joy, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. He has delivered us from the domain of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption and the forgiveness of sins. And even this morning, this is why we gather. Why are we at church this morning? To worship a God who has rescued us, who cares for us, who loves us, who has made a way for us to be with him in relationship with him. So as we worship and as we hear from his word, um, we want to express our gratitude for what he has done for us. And so I want to pray and I want to invite you. Will you stand with me as I pray? So stand and let's pray together as we continue to worship God. Father, this morning we gather in this room because we want to meet with you. And God, we acknowledge that we gather on Sunday mornings and there can be some routine to that and that's good. But God, we don't want to forget why we gather in this room. We gather in this place to meet with you as your church, as your, as your children, to worship you to thank you and to come with hearts of gratitude and to express to you our thanks for all that you've done for us. God, we also come because we want to experience you in our lives and we want to know the presence, your presence with us and we want to hear from you. We want to lift up your name in these songs. We want to hear from you in your word. We want your word to come to life by your Holy Spirit speaking into our minds and into our hearts. And so God, we ask for that this morning. And we come, help us to have expectant hearts. Help us not to be in the reclined position where we say, get to me if you can, but help us to lean forward and to lean into, to engage in meeting with you this morning. Thank you for all you've done. We thank you for redeeming us, for saving us. Thank you for allowing us to know and understand you and who you are and your character and, and this relationship you invite us into. We thank you for that. And we worship you. Amen.
this time we will dismiss the kids. So it is from preschool up to grade six. So everyone but the youth. We're still doing offering, right?